What's up, Shackers? Welcome to Shaq's Arcade Corner, where I go over some of the best arcade classics and a brief history. Today on Shaq's Arcade Corner... Mortal Kombat hit US arcades in the year 1992 and was developed by Midway. The game was created by Ed Boon and John Tobias and had originally involved Jean-Claude Van Damme, but the idea eventually turned into Mortal Kombat and Jean-Claude was cut from the project. Of course! The game sparked huge controversy due to the amount of blood and violence it offered and included the first introduction to the very over-the-top finishing moves known as fatalities. Sub Zero wins flawless victory fatality. The game was so violent that, in part, it helped create the ESRB rating system, the same system that stops 12 year olds from buying Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto. God bless America. Oh my god, the kid's coming for me. He doesn't have cops on him. Come on! The first Mortal Kombat game introduced us to who are now some of the most iconic characters in fighting game history. This game went to become a huge franchise, spawning TV shows, live action and animated, comics, toys, feature films, and the game was ported to just about any platform that could handle it. Mortal Kombat was huge in the 90s. Kids loved it and parents hated it, but it is one of the few arcade games that is still popular to this day. It's actually pretty fun. Have an idea for an arcade corner? Tweet me. I always reply. At Gravework85. Make sure to include hashtag arcade corner. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time on Shaq's Arcade Corner. Metal Slug! Rocket Launcher! Mission complete!